Hello everyone, this is Raza the Realtor here, and we got a lot to discuss today. We're gonna to be looking at the market, what's happening currently, what happened in the month of August, and what we can see moving forward. So let's get started. Now the first thing we're gonna look at is the resale market and what's happening currently. So in August, we had a total of 10,775 sales. That's actually a 40% increase from August of 2019. So basically what that means is we're getting a lot of homes coming on the market but they're selling faster than they can come onto the market. So if you're a buyer and you're looking to get out there, you may want to consider, is this the right time for you? So currently we only have 9,550 list, active listings on the market as of today. And we have 7,646 condo listings, which is condo apartments and condo townhomes. Now, if you look at it in the months of inventory, that's about 1.5 months worth of inventory. And that's very, very low. On average, homes are taking about 17 days to sell, and that, again, is very quickly. So if you're a buyer and you have to move into a neighborhood, you may want to reconsider to hold off for a few months until inventory increases, or you have to be prepared to go into that market and possibly put in an offer without any conditions. So the other thing we have to look at is the rental market. And why do we look at the rental market? Because it has a direct impact on investors. When investors are not able to get rents for their properties, they're going to sell them. And we need to look at that because we could have more inventory come on the market than we expect. Now, the rental market downtown has been hit very, very hard because of COVID. People have moved onto the outskirts of the city, finding there's no need to live downtown if they're not going to be commuting there anymore. And that could be for the long term. We don't know how the pandemic will play out. So we're going to keep our eye on that as well. Also, immigration is down by 65%. Majority of immigrants, when they come into Canada, when they come into the GTA, they're going to be renting. Now, if that rate is down that much, we can also understand that it's going to create a larger vacancy rate in the GTA. And that will further force the investors to list their properties, list their condos, list their homes that they've been renting, and get them on the market and get them sold because they're no longer carrying themselves. So keep a close eye on that and we'll do that for you too. Now, the last thing we have to look at is the absorption rate, and that rate is very, very important to home sellers and to home buyers. Now, basically what that rate tells you is how many homes are on the market and how many are selling. For example, in Toronto itself, 92% is the absorption rate. That means 92% of the homes that are on the market are selling, and that's a very, very high rate, and that tells you you're in a very hot market. So that's important to know as a seller and as a buyer. Now, if you move over to the east side of the city into Scarborough, for example, the rate is at 104%. So basically 104 homes out of every 100 are selling on the market. How is that possible? Even the previous inventory is starting to sell that hasn't sold as long as it's priced right. Now, if you're a buyer, this rate is crucial for you. If you're looking to buy in the Durham region or in Scarborough or anywhere in the GTA, you need to know what the absorption rate is. And now, for example, in Ajax, it's 184%. Now, as a buyer, you have to ask yourself, do you really want to be in a market where 184% of the homes are selling? And you're going to have to put in blind bidding. You're going to have to put in blind offers with no conditions in order to achieve that purchase. You may want to hold off for a few months after looking at that rate until inventory increases and it becomes a lot better for you to make that purchase without having to put in a bid without even knowing what the other bids are. Now, if you're a home seller and you want to know what your absorption rate is, for example, if you're an Ajax and it's at 184%, you are in a very good market for yourself to sell. There is a massive demand for you and timing is everything. So these rates, we've included them for everywhere in the GTA, regardless of where you lived. So we have the attachment below. Check it out if you have any specific questions. Is it the right time for you to sell or the right time for you to buy? Is now good? Is in the coming months going to be better for you or going into next year? Give us a call at any time at 416-995-7317 and we'd love to help you out with that answer and answer any of the other questions that you have. Have yourself a wonderful day and until next time. Bye-bye.